All right, here we go again. Another day in paradise. Another day for the common man to make the common dollar. A few things I saw this morning, last night, that looked, sounded, uh, like I want to get my two cents on, I guess. <sighs> One. The whole debate on modern women. I, mean, I have not been in the dating pool for quite a while now, but I don't know if I'd be able to uh, deal with the narcissism of women now. I mean, honestly. And the fact that they're so much less valuable. I mean, growing up, I swear, I would say maybe not quite all, but like half, half of women didn't fuck everybody. Especially half of good-looking women didn't fuck everybody. They were just, wasn't in the game plan. They had shit they had to take care of. They were out to just be good people. I mean, maybe videos lie. I'm not sure they do. But it really seems like 90-some percent of good-looking women are whores. Growing up. It just seems like they're the overwhelming majority. But I would have to think there is, there has to be a substantial amount not videotaping, not out there partying, not screwing every fucking guy they can or girl, whatever. I hope I'm wrong. I do. <sighs> at this pace, I mean, women are going to screw every man like they're a goddamn light bulb. And then abort the baby. That's kind of fucked up in itself. I think any woman who would get an abortion is fucking disgusting and should be charged with murder. But that's just my own opinion. And the doctor probably should be um, subject to second degree murder. I don't know if that's a thing. I think it is. I think both of them participating in it should get equal uh, play. The fact that women basically try to word the baby like it's some sort of non-human entity disease, uh, human growth, like a virus, what the fuck is that called, um, something that's the virus, I think, that clings on to a person and lives off of them and kills the thing, it kills the host, it's not a virus, I can't think of what the fuck it's called, but it's kind of fucked up. <sighs> that women all through time have been the nurturing, the warmth, the love, the compassion, everything along softness tones and loving tones has been women. And now it seems like that's fading. It's going away. I mean, 20 years ago, if a girl got pregnant, unless it was some, some unfortunate, horrible instance that happened that I don't like to get into, but it was just some random act of pregnancy, first fear, and then the next nine months, a bond of love between the woman and that child. Now, ah, fucking get rid of it. The tick. Take it out of me. It's fucking disgusting. I don't think I'd be able to grow up in this generation. Women are just disgusting now. They're men. The femininity, the compassion, the 
mystery of it all is just gone. Just all sluts. Modern women are fucking disgusting. And then they speak in double take. I did hear a a uh, a wording, a phrase yesterday that just kind of made sense. And it's on this uh, podcast called Whatever. And they use a term called hoflation. And hoflation, what that is, is over the past two or three generations, women have gotten ten times more promiscuous. They have gotten ten times more narcissistic. You have to work ten times harder to attain one. Not fuck them, but I mean, attain one. Fuck them, you just gotta... I don't know, give them a glass of wine. But they are exactly one-tenth the value of their own grandmother, the generation prior. Value is based on purity. Value is based on love. Loyalty. Passionate, of course, beauty. But beauty is not the end all. Beauty is just part of the pie. If you have beauty, but you're missing all of the other aspects, you fail. It's that simple. You fucking fail. You fail as a person, you fail as a value to society. It's just, they've gone by the wayside. They've gone from beautiful creatures to disgusting men like women looking fuck dolls. They've all been run through. Fucking got the Hoover Dam between the legs. Everyone wants a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger dick. Because their hole is that much fucking bigger. Got to put a goddamn bowling ball up there. Wouldn't fucking touch the sides. I'm sorry, but if you're a woman and you've been with more than five guys, you're disgusting. You just are. I mean, you're a whore. And of course, you can always reform yourself and get better in some ways, but in the woman's fear, you're a whore, you're disgusting, you're not wanted, and and you can put every excuse up in the book why that has happened, but if every man you can't make it work with, at a certain point, it's not the man's fault, the one common factor is you. If you have been with 20 guys, and you are not married or with children or a family, you are the problem. If you have been married three or four different times and been with a bunch of other people in relationships, you are probably the problem. You. The world is not fucked and you are not perfect. Time to take that long look in the mirror. We've all done it. I've done it. I'm not perfect by no means. I am flawed in so many ways. In fact, I struggle with just being the best person I can be. And I don't think I'm good at it. I try. That's the best I can do. The fact that I know I'm not perfect. That's the problem with modern women is they all think they're tens. They all think they are perfect in every which way, shape, or form. Every one of them. If every woman is a perfect 10, then what the fuck is average? It doesn't make sense. Nah, it's just disgusting and lies 
that people tell women to make them feel better because of their feelings, because of generations past, they've been loving, they've been compassionate. So we want to show love and compassion to modern women because of the women's past, because of women in the past, not of these women's past. Because of women in the past, that is why we show so much love and compassion to the modern woman. And then that modern woman takes it like they are ideally the idea of perfection. And it's crazy because they haven't earned a goddamn thing. You are not your ancestors. All you can do from your ancestors is hear the stories and remember and try and do better by you and yours. That reminds me. Black people, stop blaming white people for slavery. You know, like, 1% of people owned slaves back then? Like, 1%? So every poor person that fucking fought alongside of you, their ancestors died to free you, they're also the blame... Come on. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> Modern women is labor. Yeah, that's a good intro. I didn't get into my second thing, but whatever. Modern women, if you've been with... You know what? I'll even up it. If you've been with seven guys, you're whores. You just are. Sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Honestly, I don't give a shit. So, bye horse.